Well, I feel very well prepared for this mission, and uh, a lot of that preparation happened before I got to NASA. As you said, I was an Army aviator. Uh, I'm, I spent my whole career working high-risk missions in small teams and remote areas, uh, which is what we're doing right now. And, uh, you know, there's a few things I really took from the Army. One was uh, how to lead a team and make tough decisions uh, in circumstances like that, how to be a good teammate, how to, make sh how to be reliable uh, for your team, and, and how to make, uh, how to make your, your team you know, have trust in you. Uh, I think the skills that it takes for, or that it's required to fly helicopters in combat is very similar uh, to what it takes to work on small teams uh, up here in space. Uh, yeah, the two spacewalks I did uh, last month were, uh, actually earlier this month, were, were very different. Uh, the first one was doing some battery replacement and upgrades uh, to our power system here on Space Station, and the uh, second one was installing uh, some cable jumpers to allow us to have a redundant power system uh, uh, to our robotic arm. And uh, ever since I first started training for spacewalk, something that struck me was how similar I was to being a, uh, a pilot on a scout weapons team. Uh, and, and there's a few, few reasons for that. Uh, you know, the, the suits that we wear outside, they are like small spacecraft, uh, keeping us alive uh, out in the uh, vacuum of space. And, uh, and so you have to be able to monitor that suit. You have to know your suit well enough to, make it, uh, to, to enable yourself to do the mission while, while not having to think about the suit, but still at the same time monitoring its systems. It has its own power system and a thermal regulation system, electronic system, a radio system, very much like flying a helicopter. Uh, you know, the, the, the best pilots use that helicopter for the mission uh, rather than uh, all of their attention having to be focused on the helicopter. So getting to a level of proficiency where your focus can be on the mission, but you're also cross-checking this very complex system that your life is relying on uh, is very similar to doing a spacewalk. And in addition to monitoring yourself, you're also monitoring your partner uh, that, that you're with. So up here on a spacewalk, that's the other astronaut that's outside with you. Uh, on the ground, that was the other helicopter that I was flying with. And uh, most importantly, uh, you know, you have to be able to work with that other person and, and their system, their spacesuit, their helicopter, in order to accomplish the mission. Uh, so. Uh, it was actually amazing to me how many of the skills kind of carried over into that environment. Sure, one of the things that I really like to point out to soldiers and to, and to civilians that are outside the military is that the Army is so diverse in the opportunities that, are, that it offers you and uh, no matter what your passion is, you really can find it uh, uh, within the Army. I was uh, very fortunate to be able to pursue my passion for aviation. Uh, I was able to get advanced degrees uh, because of the Army opportunities that I sought out. And the biggest advice I can give to soldiers is to have a goal and to, to think five, seven years out, where do you want to be? And then, you know, talk to your leaders uh, and, and see what you can do to make that happen. Uh, the opportunities really are endless and uh, the sky is not the limit.